Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome to another episode here on Pastiche of Skin. Today we are playing Funk of Titans from A Crowd of Monsters. So, I remember seeing trailers for this a while back. This is a platformer that has a slightly unique take on the, the Greek gods and their history. But it's got plenty of funk, it's got rhythm, it's got life to it. So let's check it out. So the first world we got here is Pop. Pop Live. So uh, pretty much this game plays as a platformer. Uh, an action old school platformer with a bit of rhythm to it. I've actually played through a couple of levels of this to get myself a basic idea. But uh, let's talk to, Juice, do, talk to Juice? Zeus to start us all off. Hello my beloved son. Here is such a brave adventure to restore the funk all over the world. I could do it myself, but I have to fix the Celestial Garage. Well, okay. Let's check it out. World 1, Level 1. Learning the basics. So pretty much the mechanics of the game are just running and jump. I mean, it's an auto runner. All I'm doing is really pressing one button to enjoy... The action gameplay. Bounce on his head. Obviously. So you can bounce on people's heads. You can knock shit over. You can break boxes. By breaking them, you end up uh, removing more discs. In fact, this game really reminds me unintentionally of the Blues Bros game that I used to play back on the Amiga 500, of all things. Oh, there, well, it did go the right way, I think. So that was a Pegasus. Got myself a Pegasus. So obviously, uh, that is the... Um, Kind of bonus level. It's weird that it's kind of like uh, remind me a lot of Aladdin as well, the uh, classic Mega Drive uh, platformer. Because if you grab the genie icon and give you like a bonus level in between the levels that you're played through. Now the fact that this can be played one fingered is not disturbing, but it's kind of <laughs> I'm, not, I'm not I'm not massively feeling the challenge involved in this. I mean, you're literally just watching me play it like this. So I got, what, 97 vinyls? Oh, that's fantastic. I did it with perfect health and got a Pegasus. Intactus Pegasus. So let's play the Pegasus level. Um, the Pegasus level is played like you're playing Flappy Bird. That's the best way I can describe it. You're playing <laughs> a very elaborate Flappy Bird that you die in one hit. That is um, themed on the world of Funko Titans. So... <laughs> I, I can't believe that it's, like this is a, a release title on the PS4, and uh, I mean, I'm there's a bit of charm to it. It's actually cool. It's actually fair play to them for actually making it. I'm actually entertained by it. Oh god. Oh oh, this is not good. Um. Oh. Ah. Oh, am I making it to the end of the level, or is it just like a never-ending run? Oh. <laughs> That's actually probably the longest I've ever survived in that bonus level. I'm doing it publicly, one-handed, just to be a dick about it. But um, yeah, made of 468 meters. It gets Battletoads-esque with the scrolling getting faster and faster and more things getting in your way. So yeah, uh, continuing on in the world of ancient pop. <laughs> Let's see what else is coming next. I'm just going to change my audio levels a little bit because I've been a little bit talking a wee bit loud. So um, you can obviously see what the gameplay was like there. i just going to skip a little bit further ahead because um, I've already played a couple of levels and you're going to be seeing the same kind of gameplay over and over again. So let's see. Uh, let's jump on you. Yeah, bouncy, bouncy time. Oh! All right. So, like King Arthur of uh, Ghosts and Goblins, you lose all your gear on the first hit. I'm assuming on the second hit, you actually... Um, oh, yeah, that's right. You have walls jumping in this. If you uh, get hit the second time, you actually lose... Uh, your mask, I think, or something else, and then at the third hit, you're dead. So that's the basic life bar that you have to deal with. Oh, that was close. Boom. Sliding all the way. Oh, that didn't work out right. I think I was meant to land on that platform in the middle, but uh, we'll survive. So otherwise, I would have actually taken the high road. Let's keep on rolling. Bouncy, bouncy times. Whoa. Ah, uh, that's it all over. <laughs> so you get one hit, 
to lose your armor, and then the second one you get killed. So this really feels like it was a game that was designed for um, maybe touchscreen, uh, like for the Vita, or for the Wii U, or for tablet, more so than the PlayStation 4. So um, uh, I'm not massively shocked that I'm not really... Oh, I did the exact same thing I did the last time again. I'm not... Um, massively enthused by the gameplay it's it's charming in its own way and it's actually really well designed for what it is but uh auto runners uh, this uh, this ain't no uh, super mario run by any stretch of imagination but it can be pretty fun uh, especially the designs of the characters the world that it takes place in the music i felt was going that was actually what should have been the really like big thing about this game but the music's not really that interesting. Uh, I mean, obviously, I'm in the first pop world, and I've got to see a little bit more of it to really judge it, but uh, I don't know. It it feels... Um, you can hear that, right? It, it, it doesn't... Like, that's not, that's not how much funk, really, is it? All right. Let's get ourselves to the end of the level. Almost there. Almost there. And we find the funk. Turn up the funk. Boot it up. What the feeling? Alright, let's do another Pegasus level here. Well, I'm probably going to skip these in the future just because uh, they're, they're, they're just unnecessary time sinks for uh, the purposes of this video. So yeah, um, I like the design of the characters in Funk of Titans. Um, the world is... That kind of like bizarre Zool-esque kind of mixture, especially in this Pegasus level, of random crap just kind of like thrown all together. And I... Oh, I'm just looking at that epic one, I'm going like, how are you meant to survive that? Um, It feels like a really kind of like thrown together world. The, these little silhouettes and stuff in the runner levels compared to the uh, Pegasus levels. Like make it stand, like make it make it work in a lot of ways, but um, like I mean, it doesn't feel like the world's moving in time with the music. It doesn't feel it's moving in time with the character. It there, it feels that they're actually kind of like it. It's not. Do you know? What, do you know what the problem I have with our runner games like this is that I've been spoiled completely by how pitch perfect and awesome the ones in Rayman are. That's what my problem is. Actually, I, I, I don't mean to judge, but it's just, I can't, I can't judge it as anything other than, like, this is not as good as Rayman. <laughs> it's just the fact that the, uh, is it Legends? I'm trying to think if it's the right Rayman game I'm thinking of. But the Rayman um, sing-along tune levels are so well done that this just feel, like, it feels automatically amateurish, even though it actually, it's an indie game. It, it should feel a little bit not lower budget, but um, you should be a little bit more forgiving of it. And the thing is, I'm not feeling forgiving. I'm just feeling like um, I'm being mildly let down <laughs> in a way. Uh, like, this isn't a bad game. Oh, right, well, I messed the timing on that jump. <laughs> funk over. <laughs> it's not the game over. It's funk over. You just, you ran out of funk. A quiet, funky stroll. It's not that quiet, is it? Alright, let's see if we can make it to at least the part that I was playing there a second ago without losing all any of my health, or without losing my free hit at least. Oh, uh, funk it up, funk it up! Oh, uh, this is all funked up. Go funk yourself! I'm just thinking of every pun I can possibly make, but uh made a mistake there on that one. But the world doesn't kinda like give me the variety to kind of constantly think of things to say. I mean I'm sure there's an aqueduct joke in there somewhere, but I, I can't I can't I just don't know what it is. Oh there we go. Up and around you go. 
It's the fact that it actually auto-corrects the direction that you're going, so there's no even, like, fear of, like, taking the wrong path, really. Bam, down we go. So I'm hoping that there's actually a boss level of some sort in this that um, will give me a slightly different gameplay style. I'm imagining with the character showed in the opening screen that the the big bad of World 1 is probably meant to be um, uh, the paparazzi girl. Um, uh, popular music. Why am I blanking now? <laughs> Uh, let's just say Sia, because she's kind of similar to her. <laughs> Lady Gaga, that's what I was thinking of. Yeah, oh, obviously I couldn't think of Lady Gaga at the heat of the moment. We're one level seven. So I'm already seven levels into this game, and I'm, I really feel like I've seen everything that it has to share, other than just different timings for, pu for jump puzzles. Like that's, <laughs> that's the problem. I don't feel like um, I'm going to be shocked by startling new, excuse me, startling new uh, game mechanics for pretty much the rest of the game, other than just getting these timed right. Bouncy, bouncy. Damn it! Did not mean to do that. I mean, well, I'm, gonna, I'm just not going to do the mission if it come whenever it comes up. Oh, 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 well, uh, see, that's what happens. It actually just, just turns you around. Slidey, slidey, slidey time. Now, the wall jump's pretty cool. I like that. It was kind of a surprise to get that in, the, like, the second or third level. Well, not get that, but, you know, like, just be introduced to it. Oop, oop, oop. Bye. Fuck your chariot. Oh! Ah, I messed that up. Springboard! And I made it to the funk. Just after to get myself hit as well. See, these are little achievements for actually finishing so many times naked and so many times not naked. Yeah, we're not doing that. We're just going to go skip on to the next one. Oh, no! Oh, it made me do the level again, so I have to do the Pegasus level! That's per design! Ah, uh, can I just skip out of this level? Yeah, cool, you can just exit out. Works for me. So, what else is in the world of pop that we need to see? How many levels left? Oh, we've got an event, so let's see what happens here. Hey, Papa. Oh, I leveled up because of my hero level? All right. So the coinage that you can see in the top left corner, you can use that to buy uh, customizations of your character. Um, let's take a wee look into the store and see, uh, there has to be, there we go, store time. So you can change the weapons, your basic weapon is just your dagger, I changed it to the beatbox because I found it whenever I was going through here, so yep, that's my current one. Each of them require a different hero level to be able to use them, uh, you've got different armors to wear, so you've got your base head, in good old style, uh, Spartan, Bloody Friday, I went with Bloody Friday, ooh, Funk Trooper, that's delightful. Ah, Functimus Prime? Damn right we're going to Functimus Prime. Yes. What we need now is a little funk and a lot of luck. Alright, what's... Oh, I can just buy a Pegasus from my 50? Eh, well, I'm not really that concerned. But, um, let's see what else. Alright, so apparently this is Fight Night? What is this? First Grunt Fight? Does this mean... Fight night at the Olympus Arena! Who are we fighting tonight? Obviously we do not put in any of the customization in the cutscene because that would actually take a little bit more work. <laughs> oh, so it's a uh, QTE event. And it's done in three stages. Alright. That's fair enough. And you said you do each stage of it as a QTE? Right. That's okay of them. I don't mind. Um. Assume that's what they're doing for the boss. Oh, oh! Oh, goddamn! 
That's uh, that's that's not right, man. That's all right. <laughs> I smashed all three of those. So that's the first grunt down. So that's I'm assuming is the midway boss. You have to go through a mission like that. And because it didn't use any of the customization, it kind of didn't feel like it was my turn doing that. Um, level ten, level eight. Uh, right, I, I'm think I'm I'm done with this. I really do. Like, I mean, what are we sitting at? Twenty five minutes? Oh no, that's actually not even for this video. That's actually for something else completely. Ah. Uh, Do you feel bored yet, guys? Because I know I do. Yeah. I mean, there's a swinging mechanic to go along with this now. So you have to time your jumps. Again, timing your jumps. This has been Funk of Titans. It's fun. It's got it's got a nice charm to it. It looks interesting. Um, the world is full and vibrant. But the, for a game called Funk of Titans... And for the levels to not have that kind of like really fun pacey. Um, oh, does this character want to say something to me? Let's talk to Aretha first. Thank Funk you're here. Can you please stop that damn pop music? It's a nightmare every day. The same catchy tunes again and again. Destroy that snake. All right. I obviously will do that. That's the point of this mission. Might as well chat to Pops. I'm impressed by your heroic progress. You have become a master. I've already told you all you need. It's time to fly solo. Good luck. Yeah, guys, it is time for us to fly solo. This has been Funk of Titans here on Passage of Skin. Uh, it's You can see it's a fun game, but it's a very simplified game. It is a one-hander. Um, if you want to chill out and zone out to some physical action in a game, even if the music isn't that interesting for a game that's all about funk and music, then, yeah, check out Funk of Titans. It's from Crowd of Monster Games. I'll be covering more stuff by them soon, but uh, yeah, this uh, for 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 the fun that it is, it does feel limited in its scope. Um, I'm sure the worlds continue to be interesting, but I don't feel driven to play past the tenth level of this in World One. So your mileage may vary. So thank you very much for watching. This has been Passage of Skin. Thank you. Uh, doing like a cold open essentially this was this was a cold open episode to suppose for funk of titans so yeah uh check it out if you feel like it if not you've got your fill of it here today so i will see all you dudes in the next video bye